Genji is probably the flashiest and coolest character in Overwatch. He's probably one of the hardest characters to learn, especially as a beginner. I'm here today to help you get a little better at him at least. Hope you learn some essential Genji combos and damage values on his blade and some interactions with his deflect. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, hit the like button. Follow for more Overwatch content and tips and tricks and I hope to see you later. So, for all the newbies that don't know what he does, or what his abilities are, I'm going to tell you right now. So, his shurikens, each one does 29 damage as of this video, and basically you can chuck them in a straight line, or fan them. Fan will be the right click, and then the left click will be the straight line. Um, 50 damage for the dash, it's about 15 meters I believe. I'd say it's very important to remember this uh, for your blades, and also a certain combo later in this video. The deflect is a two second duration um, and can be canceled by pressing E or whatever you have it bound to. It's a very important ability that baits out important cooldowns or can save you from getting killed when it does work half of the time. But there are some things that you cannot deflect and I will tell you later in this video. And for last but not least, the dragon blade. You have it for six seconds and it does 110 per swing base. Um, there's certain abilities that like you can combo with blade that I feel like people should know. Um, things such as nano boost and mercy damage amp will make your blade even stronger. So it's best to work with your team to help you get those team wipes and win games with it. Now, onto the combos. So I think the first thing that everyone should know off the rip is literally chuck a fan or right click before literally anything you do. So right click deflect or right click dash. Now we're gonna go on to the bread and butter combo. You probably see every Genji do. I wanna do a fan, dash, and melee. So fan, dash, melee. Simple. Uh, if you just hit one, it'll like it, see up top, it will do 128. And if you just miss the shuriken entirely, you just dash melee for quick burst of 80 damage. For these ones, you can do either the fan or the straight line shurikens. If they all hit the head with a dash, 224 damage. Uh, and then there's also just the straight up head, all headshot melee combo uh, for 204 damage. And with that, you don't even need the melee. You can just one shot uh, a tracer or a mini diva if you hit everything to the head. Now this is the important part that I mentioned, the 15 meters. So what you want to do for this combo is dash, shuriken, and melee. To get the shurikens to come out as fast as possible, you want to hold it while you're in the dash animation so it will just all come up. Um, even to the body, you'll hit for 167, but with a damage boost from like mercy or anything, you can actually just hit all body in one shot any 200 hp character i'm not gonna lie this is a pretty advanced combo i would say so don't feel discouraged even if you can't hit it the first couple of times but it's a pretty important combo that i would say to remember so this is a pretty impractical combo it's pretty advanced i'm not gonna lie um it's just kind of made to look like you know saucy if you want to style on someone um shout out to necros for i believe finding himself first so originally, um, if you fan melee, you can't dash because you use it like an internal cooldown. So in order to cancel it, you have to wall climb, and then you want to do the same thing basically. And you want to fan melee, wall climb, dash, and then fan melee again. So now we're moving on to the dragon blade. So what we all know at the beginning, 110, and then two swings is. 220. There's also another combo that involves a slash dash slash. You probably see a lot of streamers do this. Now, I know what you're thinking, it's like, but be pissy, it does more damage. That is true. But you want to move on to your next target, and if you don't get the kill there, if they're like being healed or something, and you miss that dash, you are stuck there and you wasted your dash and couldn't confirm that kill. The dashes are meant to confirm and move from target to target because you do not want to be stuck in the middle of everyone with no dash. It takes the same amount of time to slash slash 
as to slash dash slash. So what I'm saying is don't waste the dash unless you need to confirm the kill or move to a target. Now it's a little bit of a different story with amps or damage amps of any sort. So a dash slash or a slash dash will kill any 200 HP target. Um, but what you need to know especially is that for 250 HP targets, you cannot kill them with a dash slash instantly. So you need to be aware of that. So don't just slash dash in the middle of nowhere. Now, if you happen to have an Ana and a Mercy on the same team, Nano and damage amping you, unfortunately, you still cannot one shot someone, but they are still dash slashable. And now a Reaper is also dash slashable. So for new Genji players with Blade, I see a lot of them just end up dashing at someone and dashing past them, completely missing the target. But what you can do is dash at their feet and you'll get the damage still and you'll still be able to slash and slash them. Um, you can, same thing applies with your shurikens as well you can dash at their feet instead of dashing past them and then you can look up and headshot them or get a quick burst of damage so just another little thing um knowing when to dash someone when they're around this like two bars or whatever i don't want to dash them because that's around like the 50 hp and you know what we learned earlier is you know 50 hp that's how much the dash deals and you get your dash back after your kill so this is the part where I tell you what you can and cannot deflect. Uh, really, if you just want the long story short, any sort of melee, like normal melee, exceptions being Doomfist and Orisa, will all just kind of block the damage and you won't take it. Um, and then beams are something that you cannot deflect or any area of effect kind of thing, such as ham and pile drive or uh aoe effects of like fire rockets or junk rat um yeah um you can basically deflect any projectile that comes at you um weirdly enough you can deflect fire and a whole graviton surge but you cannot deflect a rock from sigma so um that's just some food for thought um, there's some other tips in here as well. You can actually out damage Winston. Um, I still don't recommend 1v1ing or Winston, but it is possible if you hit every single headshot on him, you can actually kill him. You can also jump over a Ryan Shatter with the Gen Genji's double jump, um, but you kind of have to like hyper active, like guess that. Brig Bash and Boop seem to not uh, care about Deflect, uh, weirdly enough. Um, and when it comes to the Genji 1v1, really, whoever deflects first is going to lose. Um, if you chuck some shurikens into his deflect, his deflect will end first and you will win. Or he will be pretty low that you can just dash him. So last thing, um, there's this little workshop that I like to use uh, to practice my blade combos. Um, so the top left is a power up. By pressing F for your interact key, you can emulate having a nano boost of some sort. And pressing E will emulate uh, like Zenyatta's transcendence. So what you can do is it you didn't know is you can actually burst through Zenyatta's Transcendence with Nano Blade if you do the slash dash combo really really fast and if you made it all the way to the end of the video I really want to say thank you for the support my last video kind of blew up for me and I'm really excited for the future of Overwatch and hope you guys stay around and I can give you guys some good tips and hopefully it can rank up in competitive Stay tuned for more content, like, sub, and share if you enjoyed the video. And as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Peace and love, baby.